What's up, man? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. My hat's a little crooked. Chris, say hi. How's your coffee? Good morning. Good morning. My coffee's great. Today's our last day in Scottsdale going to Barry Jackson. We just pulled up to a Sinclair gas station and the guy filled my tank up for me. I've never been to a gas station like that. Listen, I know there's certain states you're legally not allowed to fill your own tank, which is kind of embarrassing and sad. I've got to say, I'm, I'm not a fan of this service. Why? It, even in the rain, it takes longer. Then I gotta give him my card, then he goes inside, probably stole my credit card information. Well, you got peed on right now. I had to leave the door open because I was about to jump out and he's like, oh, we feel it for you. And then I felt rude slamming the door in his face. Chris, it's a little wet here at the, uh, <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, jeez. Uh, a little wet here at the Barrett Jackson. Yeah, we got puddles everywhere, buddy. I brought the wrong shoes. I forgot to bring other shoes, so we are rocking the dudes today. I'm probably gonna step in a lot of puddles. Hey, come on, man, we gotta, we gotta rescue these guys, man. They ain't gonna be able to get out in the scooters. There's a big old flood right there, buddy. They gonna get electrocuted There's a lot of cords running through that puddle. Not raining too hard right now. Man, we gotta cross a lake. We gotta, we gotta walk across there, yeah. We're both rocking some dudes, not waterproof. Do not do well in the, uh, in the puddles. We're hoping if today goes well, we actually get to do some real bidding on some cars. Uh, the owner of Pro Slat has a couple of cars he's interested in. He's gonna let me do the bidding for him. Uh, he set a budget. We're hoping we're here while those cars come up. Oh, dude, I already got water in my shoes. We haven't even gotten in the puddle. If it happens, we're gonna do some real bidding. Maybe we'll get up on stage. Uh, you gonna cross right here? I don't know how I'm gonna cross. <laughs> Will the security carry us across? It's Colorado River right here. It really is. This is bad. If you carry me across. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I can't shoot across. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks deep. Dog, go find out how deep that is. Which one is going to be is better deep. Try to let him. Like, how far can I jump? Yeah, you're you're stronger. Carry me. No, let me tell you. If you go do it, cross right up here. That's where it's, that's where it's extended. All right. All right. Oh, hell no. I charge $5 for that. Hey. <laughs> Are they checking parking pass? We're, we're in one of the RV spots, but can we just park right here? Well, well here's the thing. All right. For $5, you can park right there. Okay. So you give me $5. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> you got the flood zone right there, too. You but we could cross. You want $5 for your shoes, without for your parking spot? I was going to get I was gonna give five bucks to just carry me across. <laughs> yeah, but that only gets you across. <laughs> five dollars gets both of us across. You're trying to negotiate a deal. So, watch out, man. Look like the ocean's coming for you. Go get your bags and pull right up there. You'll be dry the whole time. Yeah, you're not wrong. Right you're not wrong. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't be, don't be putting your own bags, Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just paid five dollars to cross a stream. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of troll under a bridge shit's going on over here at the Barrett Jackson? I paid five bucks to get the truck across the street. That's true. I was gonna pay him five bucks to carry me across the street. He, 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 was, he was almost down. Bro, my face is soaked. Was it really raining that much out there? Jeez. All right, so we, we paid the gatekeeper of the river five bucks, who's probably not even like, his shift's probably over in five minutes, and then we're probably gonna get in trouble for parking there. But at this point, it's a gamble. At this point, yeah. I got one pair of shoes, they're hey dudes, and I ain't walking around in wet shoes for the rest of the day, so we're we're driving through the stream. Because this is gonna be much nicer than walking. Oh, we're gonna park up on this hill, man. We're gonna get about the water. You got this, buddy? You got this? Walk light. Oh, man, look at this. We got us a, yep, cross that stream. All right, we got it. Woo, easy guy, easy guy. Oh, why are those guys still making fun of us, man? We just got extorted for five dollars. At least you can like encourage us. Oh, that's the Bronco we bid on yesterday. Didn't win, guys. Didn't win. Went, you know, uh, it got me a. My dad only gave me a fifteen thousand dollar budget. Okay, guys. So today we are going to actually venture through the tents. That is what we did not do yesterday, and we should have because the weather was much better, and not quite as cold. We're also looking for one of the Camaros that we're going to be hopefully bidding on at some point if uh, it comes up soon enough before we are heading out today. But first, let's check out this sweet Chevy. This is a crew cab short bed. This thing is like, th this, this is my world right here. This is my world. If I were to own, is that a K30? If I were to own one, it would be a crew cab short bed. This thing is sick. What do you think, Chris? I t you gonna buy it for me? Now what's going on here? We got, got, dude, we got little like boat lights hit, in the side. I hit it big at the casino last night. Dude. Dang, son. And then we got this. What is this? Uh, it's gotta be like a 50s. Dude, this thing's got dual rams on the dump bed. Chris, I think maybe next year we bring the F600. Think so? Yeah. You gotta do a little body work to the cab. Oh, looks like we got a fully rhino lined Humvee on some TIS wheels. Check this out. I don't know if you guys remember. If you guys remember like the, the book fairs back in elementary school? where they would sell posters of some Plymouth Prowlers. It was like 
five or six of those of these here. This one comes with the matching trailer. Chris, I think this is the one, man. Are you? Yeah, 2001, 3.5 liter high output, V6, 24 valve, MPI engine. Looks spacious. I mean, those seats look comfy, bro. It looks like a big old couch. And it comes with the trailer. We could travel with this. This will be our next road trip vehicle. Look at the matching trailer. I don't know what these go for. Like, I feel like there was a reasonable price to be funny to own one. You know, but they're probably gonna go for something yeah, stupid. Probably, yeah. so we're gonna venture through here to see some of these nicer trucks. I mean, God, there's just some beautiful, beautiful vehicles out here. Got us an old F100. Look at this beautiful paint job. That color combo is sweet. We got a Chevy Bel Air with a trailer with a matching boat on it. It's a cool setup right here. Dude, look at the suspension on the trailer. This is like some old school stuff. You got dual springs. Is that like a three link rear axle? Two link? Something link? This thing is sick right here. What is this, an Apache? I just love how like stubby these things look. You throw a little lift kit on it, some bigger wheels and tire, like this is, that's a, that's a good look right there. Check out this beautiful Ford. I'm telling you guys, we go to uh, SEMA, you know, I've been probably four or five times now. And you see some really cool stuff, but like, the amount of money and time that goes into restoring some of these vehicles like this F-350, I mean, it's just, it's impressive. This thing is beautiful. Need a little, a little cleanup on the frame, but they've done a good job. They've done a good job. And then we got, well, you know, presidential limo back there. Full long travel Jeep. This is an interesting build right here, guys. Look at this thing. Look at those arms. I mean, there's some, definitely some custom work going into this thing. Look at the trailing arms. Jeez. Oh, Kibbe Tech built. Huh. That's what we need, Chris, right here, the BMW i setup. Right? I think we I think we both fit in this thing. I bet you can make it out of the ranch. I bet you can make it out of the ranch. Dude, this thing's got some knobbies, bro. You could definitely make it out to the ranch. This thing's sick. I, I want a horseless carriage. So can you imagine driving one of these things with your with your driving stick? You, know, you shift with the left hand. It's got a clutch. I don't know what I don't know what that does. Dog, it's sold for Forty-five hundred bucks. I feel like I would have bought that for forty-five hundred bucks. Drive that around the ranch. Yeah, it'd be sick. I'm just saying. You, you're not wrong. Just All right. Saying. So Chris thinks I should bring my fire truck to see or to uh, Bear Jackson next year. Everybody on there is gonna say yes. Yeah, All right. Let's, let's see what you guys think. Should I bring the fire truck out here? We'll see if we can sell it at Bear Jackson. It'd be expensive to bring out. We might have to have James uh, bring it out for me. Oh, it looks like we got an OJ Bronco. Uh, squeeze through, buddy. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. <sighs> Uh, it's skinny, right? <laughs> <laughs> I spotted it, buddy. Chris has been dying for a Lincoln Continental. This one's a limousine. Oh this God. one's a, this is even better, Chris. This is it, buddy. I don't know what's under the hood, but we're showing it off for, for some reason. I don't even see a sticker on this one. We just, they just might take cash right now. I got cash. This thing is sick. Just the classic Chevys here are just like in abundance. Look at this beautiful, is this a C10, K10, K10? We got a Cheyenne. God, the color, the paint job on this one. I mean, look at that. Look at that. There, there's some paint jobs you look at, a little questionable. A little questionable. This thing is just, oof. She is looking good and smooth. Love the orange and white. What a killer combo. I mean, look at the frame. It looks like a brand new frame on this thing. I mean, this was, this was a well done restoration. So no joke, guys. Me and Chris have been dying for this era of limo. Like over the years, we've had a couple of almost opportunities to buy one and they never panned out. I mean, this is beautiful. This is almost too nice for what we want. But one of these, you guys have a Lincoln Town car or a uh, Cadillac. If any of you guys have a lead on one of these, white would be cool. Prefer white over black. I mean, the gray looks sick, but this is a little, a little too nice for what we're looking for. But we're looking for like an, an 80s to maybe early 90s, depending on the body style. Uh, pop it open, man. If any of you guys have a lead on one of those, let me know. I'm, uh, yeah, I think me and Chris are in the market for one of these things. It's got limo tint, get it? Yeah. The C30 Dually is freaking awesome. I'm not sure what the plastic's going on there. It might have, uh, probably a leak right there on that tent, but this thing is super sick. This is like a Zach special right here. I feel like Zach would, uh, he'd rep the crap out of this. Look at those rear wheels. Woo! A couple of more K5s over here. If anybody's in the market for a clean, <laughs> classic Chevy, I mean, this is just a spot. There's just such a weird eclectic mix of vehicles. 
don't know what the heck a Moki is. 2017 is an e Moki convertible. Then you got a G Wagon that they got a canvas top on, like we're going on a safari. Sprinter van conversion. Top of that, we got a classic Chevy with a Coca Cola cooler trailer. And then you've got an Escalade. I think this one might be bulletproof. I believe I saw this in the listing somewhere. Uh, looks like I can see some thicker glass inside. Uh, looks pretty thick. Normally I would, feel, oh yeah, you can see you've got a separate partition right there. Normally I would feel bad touching stuff, but look at, you can't even hear me knocking. Cause uh, yeah, that, that's bulletproof. This one's, this one's pretty interesting y'all. So we've got a newer Peterbilt that they put like a old school truck bed that they custom built onto this thing. And obviously yeah, it was a, it like a fuel trailer or something for their excavation service, but apparently we're selling both look at this is kind of, this is interesting like i, I kind of don't hate it like it's kind of funky looking with the old school bed but they did a really i mean i don't know what this piece is made out of but it's done very beautifully coach works old school coach works look at those fenders that's a big old fender right there wonder what this is gonna go for comes with the fuel trailer chris does it come does it come full got a couple of john deere tractors over here this one's sold forty thousand dollars for this one I don't know what this was designed for, 40,000. It's an orchard tractor. So I'm assuming you, you sit lower so that you don't smack your face on the trees. I don't know, $40,000. Smells like a farm over here. Um, outside is cold during the rain. Gotcha. We gotta be under the tent. I like how we're told we can't be outside the tent because it's a liability in the rain. However, we had to cross the Nile River to get here and that was okay. <laughs> But we just got told we can't stand outside. It's not even raining right now. All right, so we are, we're in the tent now. This is where we're going to find the Camaro that we may be bidding on. However, this is tent six, which is the last tent. I don't know when these cars are gonna get up on the auction block. These things are super sick though. Look at these bad boys. We are looking for, it's a blue one, Chris. We're looking for a blue. That might be on the other side right there. This might be the one right here. All right, it's a rally sport. I don't know much about these things. Eric wants like a pretty good shape one, but not too nice because he's gonna cut the thing up and like totally make it into like a resto mod badass to match his current Camaro that is actually in the pro slap booth. He wants a classic version of that and his modern version of his ZL1 or whatever he's got in there. I think, I think the body looks pretty good. Body lines look correct. Body lines look, look correct, good. all right. How's the gaps? Gaps yeah, good? Gaps are nice. Oh, did you notice this? Notice this, we got a little bit of rubbing right there on that price. Price is going down. I'll do, I'll do it. No. Oh, God. I mean, it looks clean, man. Looks pretty good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this, okay. Paint's not perfect. Paint isn't perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. I know we don't want it to be perfect, but this might, uh, it still might be too nice for what he wants to do, because he's gonna fully paint this thing. God, it is like the last car, though. I don't know if we're gonna be able to bid on this thing. We got us an OBS, Chris. Oh, man, an XLT, okay. I mean, we might end up bringing a single cab here when this thing's done. That's about similar condition. Let's see, we got a, oh, we got a really nice interior. That's that's pretty clean, no cracks in the dash. It's a solid looking truck. We got a little drop-in bed liner. Parking the same diamond plate bed sides that I got on mine. What do you think we'd get for the gray OBS if we brought it here? I feel like we could do pretty decent. I have not seen very many OBSs. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe this is all like GM guys that come here looking for some older trucks. Like five grand. I better get a lot more than five grand. <laughs> All right, I think we can bring the OBS. If they're selling those some OBS Chevys. It's even got the original cigarette burns in the seats. This thing's gotta be super low miles or something. Something's up here. Four wheel drive. This truck includes a bed liner. Original blue paint. I mean, it's great paint for the original paint. Oh, look at that Yamaha Rhino. <laughs> we still got Rhinos, the special edition Rhinos. 900 miles. Used to grab the mail and transfer garbage cans. I think rhinos are going for like four grand these days. And I think that's being generous on this thing. You can buy this Polaris. It comes with its own trailer so we can get it home. Well, found us another OBS. This one is, uh, this one's diesel. No, it's not. Oh, this one's got the original window sticker. So it's a, it's a gasser. $26,000 they paid for. That's kind of high. For back in 1994 for a gas truck. I always like looking at the options and seeing what things cost, right? The cloth captain shares is a $591 upgrade. It's kind of pricey. The off-road package, $302. Upgrading to the 7.5 liter was $484. Now you see, this is why I always keep window stickers. I keep plastic on stuff. Not that I ever actually sell my stuff because I get really attached to my vehicles and I really do like them. But if you were to sell it, having stuff like that is just cool. Having the window sticker is cool. Even the plastic on stuff is cool. That's how you're gonna get top dollar for things. One thing they don't mess around with here is their freaking signage. I mean, look at the massiveness of these signs. 
thing's got to be a good 16 feet across. Throughout the day today, this morning, they've been auctioning like old gas station signs and stuff. I mean, these things are going for 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars for some old gas station signs. It's pretty crazy what these guys collect and uh, who's willing to shell out the money for it. But there's definitely the money for it here. Check this out. We got a vintage Bugatti children's carousel ride. I feel like we need to take it for a spin before we, you know, if they're going to want us to bid on it, we need to ride it. <laughs> Is there an engine under there? They convert this thing to electric. Yep, this one's converted to electric. This orange K5 is freaking beautiful. Look at the interior detail. A little picnic on the seat. This F100 is freaking beautiful. Love the gray, love the black accents. Check out the wheels. Oh, look at that. We got anodized red, got carbon fiber. What else? Two piece, three piece maybe. She's got a coyote motor in her. This thing looks sick. Carbon fiber accents, carbon fiber all the way down on the bumper. All right, guys, we. Dad's looking at the car. I feel like he knows a little bit more about these than we do. Well, we pretend that we do. Okay. Okay, okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. You're missing a whole bunch of feet and door rub whenever you open the door. Frame off. This frame off restoration is the frame off. This is seals on the inside. Oh, look. Okay. <laughs> we didn't know you could open it. You know, when he jumps in like that, I feel like he, he knows exactly what he's looking for. Well, what do we find? Nothing, unfortunately. We're gonna have to help the budget. We can make it look like there's some rust. <laughs> Kick it. Now, as soon as we open the door. Yep. Which tells me yeah. this car has, at some point, been through some form of reparations. Let's go look at the under the hood. What the fuck is this? Yep, it is. It's a double seat. So that's different. I have one of these, but it's not a rally. Mine, so I had a 68, but they had redone it. I had a hood. Oh. Yeah, mine's right here. I don't think, yeah, but I'm not sure this is a true rally sport car. Well, you can look at the gaps, and they weren't, they weren't great cars at the beginning. Right. The gaps are kind of all off. This car is, I mean, 68. What car hasn't been accidented? Fair. I'm looking for a 67, 68 that I want. That I'm gonna. We're gonna put a new chassis underneath it. Drop it down to be fully modern. Drop an LS3 in it. I got a 23 Z01 that I want it to match. Uh -huh. But I don't want to spend too much on the initial buy because we're gonna cut most of it out. Okay. I don't know, but it sounded like a good Chris. Remember, you did that earlier. I did that earlier. Which I feel like we picked a good one. Yeah. Even though he picked it, we just came and looked at it. We'll see if he finds what you found under there, Chris. Oh, I looked on this side. I looked over here. Restoration was probably about 20 years ago. Okay. But it, it's still pretty clean, though. All right, we like it. We like it. We don't dislike it. Oh. How does that sound? We like it for the right price. We, we, yes. Okay. We don't dislike it. I guess it's a true RX. So this, one of the options in this one is you've got a pull down, it's on the back, and the seats fold down to have like a pass-through, kind of like a modern okay. car. Not bad. All right. We'll give it, not bad. Okay, well, 193.1. It's in like four hours. <laughs> Let's go see if your uh, 160... 167. is here. We, we, we do have another option. So that one's going to be later in the day. Me and Chris might be gone by then. It's going to be really cheap though, because buy that one i gotta convert it from automatic into a trend into it into a manual i don't want an automatic car first off horrible stance like just horrible look yeah, at how yeah. high that front end you don't like it squatted a little bit in the rear there it's just it's not in squatting the rear it's the front's on a push-up gotcha oh, yeah this one's got a rod <laughs> everyone's i mean it comes with the heartbeat of america decal you know that's a <laughs> it's yesterday's chevrolet though it's not today's chevrolet oh, okay. beautiful wiring going on here mm -hmm. More of that we find, the better we are in the price. Perfect. The problem is when they put this on the stage, it's going to look real pretty. Right. They're going to have it all cleaned up. The water will be gone. The dust will be gone. And another shiny lights. You know, some guy goes, and they'll just you just kill and you lose. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Got a little, little mark right there. How's yeah. the how's the body lines? Yeah, yeah, these these doors look better. These doors don't rub. Is thing salvaged? <laughs> Muffler is not connected. The muffler is not connected. The muffler all right. is not connected. They've changed out and put a. Coil suspension on the back. <laughs> don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's just like one of these weird things. Like some of it's not bad. Some of it's garbage. Some of it's okay. Okay. And I'm no 
action. I don't, I don't know everything about these cars, but it's just got a lot of touch up in it. Look at that. Oh, 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 I heard that, I heard that. That's a, that's, that's a hinge. Yep, something's out of whack. All right, Chris, so we know if we're ever gonna try to sell one of these, you glue the crap out of the carpet so nobody could check for the rust. <laughs> or what they do is underneath this carpet, they put the dynamat stuff oh, yeah. so you can't see the steel. Yep. So, and then they'll take a black can of a textured black paint and spray the bottom so you can't see the rust. Gotcha. We would never but do that. No, we wouldn't do that. We're, we're uh, yeah, honest men. Really? Yeah, take a look inside them, all the trim. All of the oh yeah, the whole rear half yeah, is yeah, the whole rear window finish, speakers, finish. everything's a little it smells like a cat's been in there <laughs> a few times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, step one, fumigate. Oh yeah, it even comes with the uh, black duct tape to hide the tears in the seat up top. They work. Uh, kind oh. of. <laughs> Just leave it like that. We get a better price. So this is my first time at Bear Jackson. Like opening the doors and everything's like normal. Yep. Okay. Chris, we, we could have been in that limo earlier. Yeah, seriously. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a lot of rust. I think this is a non-buy, guys. We don't. We don't. We're yeah, not in we're on this not. one. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of rust in the. Yeah. It's, up it's, top too. I think it's. I think this is your true definition of lipstick on a pig. Yep. Well, now I'm curious to see what it goes for. Because yeah, uh, you are right, people get blinded by the, the lights and the action. I think, and the paint's kind of shiny, right? It's once, once they put it on stage, it wax it up, it'll still look shiny on stage. Right. Um, it's, it's just an awkward stance, and there's like no travel in the suspension. <laughs> it'll be a gut feel, but I don't think over 25, I'm anywhere near it. Okay. And it'll, it'll probably get over 25 because just it's getting rarer and rarer, and you can't find these. People are bringing them to places like this, and like we were saying yesterday, there was a drunker, richer guy than me that wants it. Got a little love seat in the back here. There we go. This this one this is the this is the shindig right here. Dude, this might replace the super C. <laughs> Cooler goes down, tucks in. Look at that suede. Uh, okay, maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Louis Vuitton grade. Fair. But this is a buy right here. Look at that. Look at those captains. Let's go try those out. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> I learned you could just open oh stuff, man. We're just opening stuff now. I don't know if you're supposed to climb in, but we can just open it. Look at that carpet. That is nice carpet. That, that is some Look at the TV. You know, it looks you, bigger from the outside. You look at this car. Now ask yourself, what has happened in that back seat? Well, Chris, you got your, uh, you up to date on your shots? <laughs> Are you wearing your latex gloves? Bro, you fit I've, in I've this thing. In, I've been into worse places. This is the look. You know, the crazy part is, like it doesn't smell. Like you would think that has some type of smell to it. Just from the age, it actually smells decent. Got our, has our ashtray been used? It's a little corroded in there. So we might not be here, can we trust you? To, to, to get us a good deal on this thing. I give you a hefty budget. <laughs> give me the budget, I'll do the bidding. Pull out the budget. <laughs> how, how much did you win last night? <laughs> how much, how much one back. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're still trying to get back to even. Oh, that's luxury right there. <laughs> kind of keypad to get into the car. From the 80s. From the 80s. That's impressive. And it's probably like, you probably have to dial the operator for it to open the <laughs> yeah, door. <laughs> Does it have a phone in there? I'm surprised if it, it don't have the little intercom front and back. I would, I would not pay attention to the pile screen on the middle of the dash there. Electronic seat? Oh yeah. Oh, that, there's no stiffness to that uh, armrest there. Oh yeah, that, oh. Well, that's as far as we go before we hit the partition. <laughs> yeah, we got all the, we got the moonroof privacy panel. Oh, the partition glass doesn't work. Look at these light switches. Auxiliary fan, intercom buzzer. Well guys, it's getting late in the day. It is finally time for the first Camaro to go up. This is the one that was a little, little too rough around the edges. But you know, maybe we can convince him that like, you know, you know, like, what's it look like to buy a car here at Barry Jackson? <laughs> you say you've been here, what, seven years? I believe this is my ninth. Nine years and you've only successfully been able to buy one. One. Because it gets that crazy, right? And it was a clunker. It was, it was, <laughs> it was a rough car. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so we don't want to repeat that. No. Today. However, we're going out to the floor now. It's about time for that first Camaro to go. We just want to see what it's going for because that's going to give him a gauge on the second Camaro that's better, which is going to be later in the day, but we're already going to be gone by the time that comes up. We have made our way up. We got our bidders passed. I don't know I don't know what my budget is. Dad told me we might bid on this one, but I think it's going up pretty quick. <laughs> he 
he's interested. He's interested, Chris. You need to go to the bar real quick and get the out of turn. Okay. Alright guys, there's a 1996 Impala. 96 Impala. It's an SS, but it is an ugly car. It just sold for $50,000. Plus 10%. And, plus 10%. Um, and they left the plastic on the seats. That's why it sold for... So everybody that says I should stop leaving the plastic on my seats, that's why. Are we bidding on this one? Look at how good it think we have any chance under 30? So, all right, so this is the one he was, he's been saying. They look great under the lights. This is the one we looked at in person. All right, a little high. We're a little high. It makes no sense. Look at, you saw the car with me. Yep. You saw all the rust. Yep. You saw all the problems. But look at the lights on the stage. Stand up and take a look at that. You can stand up. Don't be fooled. All the internet cars are the same thing as this. Go look at the car. That's the only thing I can say is go look at it because it is so important. Yeah. We were willing to bid 30000 on this car and it was rough. It's at 36000 plus 10%. You're at forty grand for a car that you're going to have to put forty grand into. Right? The muffler was hanging off. The e-brake e was ripped out. It's at 42000 right now. Never, never, ever, 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 ever. We should have bought the 71 split bumper. That was, I'm a fool. At I was waiting. I was, was waiting. 40, we could have resold it. We could have. We could have put it back on the block on Thursday. Yeah. This sets the stage. The nicer one we saw. Yeah. If this is at 45. Chris, it could be yours for $709 a month. You're <laughs> right. That's wild. Don't walk. Run away. <laughs> Run as fast as you can from that car. Uh, all righty y'all well unfortunately some of those cars went for a little more than they were worth and uh you know it's not our money we're playing with eric was being nice enough to let me like bid so i can actually feel like i'm a part of this crowd and i do appreciate that i got to give a huge thank you to eric everybody over at pro slap for bringing me and chris out here this is it we are ready to head back to california the skies are uh, hopefully gonna hopefully gonna treat us nice on this drive back. We've got about probably six hours, maybe a little bit longer now with uh, it being dark. But with that though, we are gonna wrap up. Barrett Jackson was an awesome experience. I recommend you guys coming out here. Um, again, I believe it's open to the public. You just gotta buy a couple of tickets. Get on the bidding floor. Like it's just, it's different than what you see on TV. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now. That way you do not, do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be able to work for it. You guys are the best. Or the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.